I'm Scott Westerman from the Michigan State University Alumni Association, and this is the first in our series of webinars on writing for social media. The first step in any communication project is to decide on strategy, and in the social media world, three primary strategies contend. Broadcasting, interaction, and engagement. Broadcasting is, in essence, old-school public relations. You decide what you want to say and write it up in a press release. You then write a tweet that encourages the viewer to click through an attached link to the web page where your press release is. Although you may decide to monitor the response to a broadcast tweet, feedback does not necessarily guide your future actions. Your primary goal as a broadcaster is to blast your content out there and hope that somebody takes positive action as a result. The person who sends out your message is almost always anonymous, and the brand is focused on the company, not the individual team member who is doing the work. Interaction is a transactional approach to social media. It's basic customer service. Someone posts something about you, your organization, or your company, and you reactively respond. Once you address the concern, that's the end of the relationship. Think of a bot when you think of interactive social media. Someone spits out a sentence, your bot analyzes it and answers. Interactors are more likely to catalog transaction types, look for trending topics and issues. This information might guide a conversation on process improvement, pricing, or communication style. But it doesn't dig deeply enough to understand your customers' motives and deeper needs. The interaction strategy may or may not include associating an individual company team member with a social media brand. Often, many team members are involved in the transaction, but the customer rarely remembers who they are. A social media strategy that focuses on engagement is all about building mutually beneficial relationships. You seek to understand the deeper motivations of your audience to discover the brand promoters among your users and turn unhappy customers into brand fanatics who drive traffic to you, advise you on improving service processes, and enhance the quality of your product. Often, an engagement approach involves a tightly knit team of voices who become well-known to your target audience as individual personalities. They may act as the face of your brand on other platforms, speaking at conferences, or engaging with focus groups to personalize the company moving away from the faceless entity and toward the trusted friend. Your strategy will determine your tactical approach to social media. Interaction requires more investment than does broadcasting, and engagement spreads well beyond the Internet. It's a reflection of the organizational culture. If you're doing it right, the engagement model can provide valuable feedback to improve how you serve and increase your market share. What are the operational requirements for each of our three strategies? Broadcasting requires the fewest resources. You can literally automate it so that when you post a press release to your website, a tweet or post is automatically created and fired out to the world. The rules of traditional PR apply. So aside from the initial effort to create a dissemination mechanism, your current headcount can execute it. Interaction involves assigning a specific person or team to watch the social media stream, identifying opportunities to respond, and taking action to do so. Part of the job involves aggregating and analyzing what is being said and providing senior leadership with a summary. The size of your customer service team is dependent on the volume of traffic you expect and the response time standard you set. An engagement approach may lead to identifying a group of evangelists who have distinct and popular personalities. Readers know them by name, and they know many of the readers by name, too. They are often interviewed in the press about your social media effort and sit at the strategy table as valuable voices that provide input on the future direction of your overall efforts. Which strategy is right for you? It all depends on your objectives. Traditional news organizations tend to be broadcasters. They may seek feedback but gather it through more traditional means via a comment section on their website. Interactors are an extension of your customer service team. They usually work on shifts and handle customer issues using legacy support tools, filling out trouble tickets, pointing people to online knowledge bases and FAQs, and providing updates as needed. When the ticket closes, the relationship ends until the next incident. Engagement is the approach that visionary companies take. They see every customer as a focus group. They want to understand the whole person and their motivations for engaging. 
It's much harder work to take this road, and your investment can be exponentially greater. But when you look at the companies that do it well, Southwest Airlines and Comcast are two good examples, you'll quickly see that the ROI can be substantial. Up next, we delve into the intricacies of writing for Twitter. I'm Scott Westerman for the MSU Alumni Association, your personal network for life.